at an overall cost of $450 million. The establishment was the home of the first permanent Cirque du Soleil show in Las Vegas. What was thought to have been the end of the mob in Las Vegas was to be short-lived. Fat Herbie Blitzstein, Tony Spilatro's right-hand man, was released from prison only to return to Vegas in the early 1990s. Fat Herbie picked up where he'd left off. After prison, the 62-year-old Blitzstein set up a downtown auto repair shop, a front for his loan shark and insurance fraud racketeering operations. In January 1997, Blitzstein was murdered, shot once in the back of the head in a contract hit and attempt to take over his racketeering business. Federal prosecutors contended during Fat Herbie's murder trial that mob families in Los Angeles and Buffalo, New York had ordered Blitzstein hit so they could take control of his rackets. 